live in a neat corner of Austin. We've got some lions nearby, and it's going to be a great night. Now, please put your hands together, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Gunn. I don't want to look. I know it's bad luck. I know it's bad luck. We talked about it beforehand. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, uh, All right. Should we let him in on it? Uh, 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 uh. Let's do it. Right. I'm looking the other way. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. This All is right. a visual bit. Uh, yep. Uh, okay. We agreed. Yep. We were going to try to predict how each other dressed. Yes. We dress exactly the same. Yes. Okay. Three, two, one. No, oh, fuck. Uh, uh, hold on. Do you want to get some shorts on? Because I'm wearing shorts, and we're both wearing a black top. No, I, I, feel, I feel like but, I can get there. Oh. oh, you just want to caprize it? <laughs> you just want to go caprize? Caprizy breezy. Caprizy. That's so you're, my least favorite so now, Capri So now sun. you are just rolling up oh, yeah. your jeans oh, yeah. like your fucking Huck Finn. Yep. yep. You got, yep. How do you not have but, a but, tan? But also, um, well, uh, 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 he's a very white man. <laughs> it's amazing to me to... He's a white man, and he's rolling up <laughs> his cuffs on Twitch in front of the audience. Last week, this is he great. was this showing is great. his belly. Last week, he was showing his belly. He's a other guy. This is, this is great content for D's knees. Uh, that's what I... <laughs> yeah, this is D's knees prime content. You want to know what? I didn't I know, know that you I don't know. I don't feel that way. I didn't know that your phone... <laughs> Could be more Until pronounced. Shot. <laughs> I didn't know that your phone could be more pronounced in your jeans, than, but rolling up your. <laughs> it just oh, yeah. looks like you are who's, you are carrying a full phone, fucking iPad. <laughs> Nobody knows. It looks that's like a... you're wearing Aquaman's pants. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. What you that look means. like Peter Pan if he were on the blue collar comedy tour. <laughs> Uh-oh. You can rely on the old man's money. You can rely on the old man's money. Bryce, please start the next bit so I can roll down my pants. <laughs> I'm regretting my opening bit. I'm regretting my opening bit. Swear to God, Bryce, please start the next fucking bit as soon as you can. I should have done. Oh, I was gonna say he's literally waiting for a Make break. Her- stole my cigar. I. I- I forgot to make the graphic, so I needed a second to make the graphic. <laughs> <laughs> a well-oiled machine on episode 100. That's right. A well-oiled machine. So I go on a walk every Friday. Yeah. And I walk with a cigar. And somewhere, this is going to be real local to, to South Austin. Uh, well, it, it's in my hand. <laughs> no, I meant like you walk with a cigar. Giant cigar walking along. You, yeah. You holding hands like, let's go for a walk, me and you. That's what I was picturing. Uh-huh. Turns out that was wrong. Turns yeah. out it's a very tiny little cigar. It's a small cigar. <laughs> Who sits in your hand? It's in my hand. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Do you guys talk or... <laughs> I, is he cool? Yeah, I guess so. In fact, no, I look forward to the walk. In fact, the reason you always go do Wizard Academy yep. on Fridays. Yep. And I've never gone unless it's been a event for like Founders Day or something like that because I treasure my Friday walks. I go on like a 10 mile walk. I smoke a cigar. I look forward to it. And I periodically get drinks along the way. Either I've been trying to mix in some waters and not just drink beer, but I go to this gas station uh, on Manchek, right across from the Radio Beer Garden, and I get a drink. But I'll leave my cigar outside and I'll go get a drink inside. The drag of Manchek last Friday was uncharacteristically animated. There were some characters out there on Man Check. I saw a man's asshole. <laughs> uh, that escalated quickly. It what well, it did because I was just looking up at the the highway off ramp coming <laughs> off two ninety and seventy one, yeah. and there was a man who was uh, sitting standing in the middle of it, and he dropped something, and his pants were dropping, and boom, a man's asshole right in my face. 
Want to know the fastest feel? way to go from 10 to 100? What? <laughs> <laughs> Add a zero. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> So proud of just, that. He's so proud of. He <laughs> loves it. I'm just saying you didn't get add, a yeah. <laughs> add a zero. Yeah, add a zero. Fastest way from ten to one hundred. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> you showed your butthole. So there was another dude who had a tube hanging out of his stomach. Oh. He did not seem that upset. That's that's right by that. Ho- there's a big hospital. There is a right hospital. There. I don't think he was in the best state of mind. Yeah. There was the man whose asshole I saw. <laughs> and then there was a couple that were also walking in to the uh, uh, convenience store when I was walking into the convenience store. They have a bathroom that you can still access without a key. God knows how long that will last. Uh, but I use it when I'm walking long distances. So that's why I always stop there. The woman of the couple was going into the bathroom and had a sh- look of shame on her face that made me assume she wasn't just relieving herself. The guy was haggling with the dude at the counter in a manner that suggested he might be trying to pull something or short change or like, it was just an animated conversation that doesn't normally happen in a, I need to buy beef jerky. Here's $2 kind of transactions that right. happen. This is not like somebody who's trying to return Pussy Men 5. No. (laughs) Usually there is not that kind of length of customer service that happens at that specific convenience store. And I rattle off this rogues gallery so I can have you, the listener, and you, Brian Brushwood, play the game which vagrant stole my cigar? Oh, I did not know oh. we were going to do a live reenactment of Clue. <laughs> because my cigar was left outside and I put it in this little corner where like, it's literally behind an ice machine. So somebody had to see me walk up, put my cigar down, walk over to this back corner area and then steal it. That that feels to me like the kind of move where it's like they weren't so interested in smoking your cigar so much as just fucking with you. Taking my cigar. Yeah. They and just I, wanted look, to fuck with you. And that's and that's a thing. I did feel on the scale of like annoyed to my car just got broken in, it was more affecting than I was expecting it to be. Right. To have something as trivial as my cigar being stolen. Although I then eventually rebounded, realizing I have the exact same problems as the Monopoly man. (laughs) Yes. Uh, Would you like me to solve the case? Yes, I would. Okay, there are three things investigators look for in a situation like this. Number one, access. Everyone you just rattled off had access. Yes. Number I, two. We are getting a word, word here from Scooper Nova Girl. Fucking that, way that, to steal my bit. God <laughs> fucking. That, that's, I, I was real patient. <laughs> All right. You want to know what? <laughs> I owe you an apology. (laughs) (laughs) Only one of them. All of them had access. All of them had motive. Only one had the method, and that was the butthole man. (laughs) That's where he hit it. In his butthole. room. Yeah. So he would just, the next time he bent over, you would just see a a (laughs) slow walk (laughs) of of a La Gloria Cubana Maduro. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what would be great? Is if you bust him, you're like, hey, man, uh, did, did, did you happen to, I saw your butthole earlier. Did, did you happen to steal my cigar, and are you currently puffing on it in your butthole? And he's like, no. <laughs> Fire in the hole! <laughs> and you're like, I can wait. And he's like, I have a pressing engagement. Uh, yeah. Nah. And he's, try- he's trying to act like he like, has a phone, but it's a piece of driftwood. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just waiting for a call. Excuse me, I'm just waiting. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just I, I'm completing today's wordle on the New York Times, and I feel <laughs> bad for making fun of the people for which I've described. But one of them definitely stole my cigar. I, I feel like I, I, I've earned at least a little bit karmically, so we can make do, I, we can do I, this I, segment. I don't even think it's much of a mystery which one. I, I think Scooper Nova Girl stole it. Or, or, uh, yeah, Scooper <laughs> Nova Girl stole it. Yep. 
You are a wanted criminal. This halt! Is... We will bring you to justice, Scooper Nova Girl, to a permanent end for stealing the cigar. <laughs> Imagine you gather. I'm all... about to announce my my position as Attorney General on Twitter with Elon Musk, and I have one piece of my platform is to get Scooper Nova Girl. Just... Get her ass! Get her! Get her ass! Columbo solving the case. <laughs> It's just one it's more just one asshole that I can't figure out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sniff it out or finger it if there's the last thing that I. I'm gonna sniff it out, finger it. If it has a shower first, maybe kiss it. I don't know. I like porno Columbo. <laughs> Where's more price? Where's more porno Columbo? <laughs> it's Combo. <laughs> We're not beating that. We're not beating that. That's it. Next topic. They got it. <laughs> Bored at work. Which one of us is this? This is you. Yeah, go on. You uh you, you notice how you, bored you, is you, like you, a you, different you, uh, I yes. do I do remember. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, look. Uh, 100 episodes. Uh, folks. Th this is this is a very relatable story <laughs> in the vein of last uh last time two we weeks, did a, a, two weeks. Yeah, yeah, a relatable story. Um so I took a class where they talked about uh, one of the most important things in a small business is to have a scoreboard so everybody knows how we're doing, right? Yeah. And uh, uh, many of you guys know that uh, – uh, I, I think I started talking about it like five years ago. Uh, there's something called a Vesta board. Uh, that's one of those split flat bo or boards kind of like at a train station. And you can plug it in with plugins that will like tell you how much has moved on the online store or what your current subscriber yeah. count. Or it, it, is, it is a physical item, much like you would see it like Grand Central Station or something like that where it goes like clack, 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 clack. But it's all connected to – Internet, if this, then that kind of style exact uh, output. So in that moment, I am so motivated that uh, I, this is a very cheesy video, but don't mind it. Uh, I'm so motivated that I'm like, this is it. I'm going to make a, a scoreboard. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to figure out all the things. So I go to buy a Vesta board and they're on uh, Amazon. And, and uh, somehow I know you've been into this like five, since since the Kickstarter. Possibly two versions of this show ago yes i think it, it might have been during nsfw because that you fucking first dope as hell the it's idea cool of the board yeah yeah and i finally broke down and i'm like it is time let's go let's go yeah um i might have clicked buy twice i uh, hey. uh, what now uh well hey uh, what they're expensive uh-huh they're yeah. like and you accidentally clicked, clicked twice by accident well, for sure by accident. Definitely not something that you've wanted so bad for so many years that you definitely just bought two of them and then you committed to yourself, Brian. You can never ever tell anybody that you definitely on purpose bought two of them. You need to create an elaborate fiction which will become the truth for you that you click twice. A highly unlikely kind of thing for which you will now never admit didn't happen. It may have occurred to me after I accidentally clicked twice, that maybe one of them could be up in the hospitality section of campus, mm -hmm. and that could be friendly messages and all this stuff, and mm -hmm. another one could be in the fulfillment section of campus. Jesus fucking Christ, that's not the actual price. Uh, nope, it's more. <laughs> it's more than this? Yep. Than the $3,000 we have on screen? Uh, uh, I twice? Believe, I believe it was three shipping, my friend. <clears throat> so, this is a very relatable story. I'm really glad I sent you the money we made from World's Greatest God. That at, may least it, at least it would put a dent in it. That may have affected things. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, when do they arrive? Well, uh, so, so Brian, with the fiscal discipline of a child who gets twenty dollars in an arcade. You know how I knew you were right, Justin, is because that's how we got these ultra wide monitors. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We just kinda... yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, I, I brought one in for a shoot, and then that's right. the question was, left... "Are you going to take it back home?" I'm like, eh, "I'll just buy another one." <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, 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 on Saturday, uh -huh. I get a important email from Amazon saying, "Look, there's a terrible problem with your order." 
And I was like, oh, dear. And, uh, and I, I click on the messaging system in Amazon, and it says, listen, uh, hi, I'm Logistics here at Vestaboard. Looks an awful lot like you bought two. Just want to make sure that was on purpose and not a whoopsie doodle mistake that you're genuinely a crazy they, person. Because they don't want to, to send ship something. one back and yeah, you'd exactly. be like, what right. the fuck? I didn't buy two. I bought one. And so I responded, uh, not going to lie, you got me. I only meant to buy one. I bought two. But I do have a place for the second one. What my plan was is to uh, play with the first one, see how much it fits in with our workflow, maybe return the second one. We'll see. Uh, if it's a problem, don't send the second one, whatever. And then I open up uh, uh, email and it says, FedEx says, congrats, your Vesta boards arrived yesterday. Hey, 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 what? At 1123 a.m. Uh, what? Right here at Modern Rogue headquarters. You want to know what? We oh, were goodness. out yesterday and we got back at about one and there was a box on the the porch and it was a bike and you said oh a bike well that's disappointing and i had no idea you didn't know what i was not, oh my God. i had no idea why you hated bikes <laughs> like or like like whether or not there was a rogue bike ordering situation but now i now know it was because you were waiting for not one but two vesta boards I, I, and I you were you were told that they had they had arrived. Yeah, I, I thought, oh, thank goodness this guy stopped the thing or whatever. But it turns out that the conversation we had per FedEx occurred after they were delivered. And I said, uh, hey, we just had this conversation. Um, looks like we had this conversation after they were delivered, uh, according to FedEx. Uh, 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 I, I tracked it down, and, and FedEx has this form that says, by the way, upon request, we will show a picture of its delivery. I was like, could you check that picture or whatever? And, uh, and, and the guy says, well, uh, we don't usually ask for a picture when there's a signature verification from an adult. Really now? And so uh, I look back, and uh, uh, there's a little picture at the bottom. Here's the signature. Whoa. Straight line. Straight line. Uh -oh. And then I find myself <clears throat> in full Brian Brushwood mode, responding, <sighs> okay, oh, no. first of all, this is my signature, and I send them to a link on a page in which I have signed a thing in the mm -hmm. way I sign things, and I said, uh, that is how I sign my name. Now, granted, I am not above, with a good friend, drawing a giant phallus instead. Yeah. I would never... Do a straight line. That's some low effort bullshit. Have you checked the address to which it was delivered? And does it match the address that we are at right now? Yes. I also maybe spent an hour and a half scrubbing through security camera footage and sending screenshots of, look at me. I'm getting ready for this tour. You can see me using a leaf blower before, after, and during this time in the middle. Uh, this, that, the other thing. Um, <clears throat> to ensure that everybody knew that nobody came to this address and dropped it off. That's correct. Uh, and then they're like, here's my wife showing up. Here's this, here's that. So, again, I understand sometimes hiccups happen or whatever. Um, Not usually with this level. amount of money yeah. in these things. Things. Yeah. This Literally is signature required. This That's is a big fuck up. That somebody fucked up. Heap them. Yes. I am patient though. I understand that logistical hiccups happen. Yeah. Which is why I was a little bit upset in my largesse and my patience. Now a week into this journey, when I got an email from the CEO, a Vesta board. Very, very excited. The CEO taking personal responsibility for this big hiccup. Yeah. It says, hey, you're on our email list. I'm like, okay. And he said, we're about to cross 10,000 units. I'm like, okay. Oh, no. Jesus. And it said, how would you like to get the best deal yet on a Vesta board by getting, putting in your email in this little 
code side thing. email thing. I have to sign up for an email. That's fine. That's fine. I'll sign up for an email thing because they're trying to get across 10,000. I understand the hustle. I understand all this. But that was a a, a marketing email, marketing. not a personal email to you. That's correct. You have a guess as to what the discount was? <sighs> per uh, unit? Uh, per unit, I think it was uh, uh, 0.69%. $500 a unit. I waited five years. I finally pulled the trigger. They didn't even arrive. And I just found out I sh I overpaid my $500 per unit okay, for two okay. units. All right. All right. This is a relatable story. I'm understanding this. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the boards now? Nobody knows. They were supposed to be delivered here. The address is correct. Yep. They were signed for. They were signed for by somebody. That's correct. Did you get refunded? This is an emerging story. A very relatable emerging story. What is the latest on... Uh, uh, quite literally, this is five hours ago, was when I got the email and found out that uh, not only because did I not get the two units, but I overpaid for both. Okay, yes. I mean, I, I, I am aware that you got a marketing email. I am, as your friend... Very mad <laughs> that there that you did not get the two Vesta boards. They're working. That's on it. They're working on it. Uh, uh, so uh, so so you still feel like they are on your side. You are yes, not yes. yet. As in a matter of fact, like, and, and to be honest, I wrote a, this a nice is, this email is a, praising them. It, this is a FedEx thing. Like they're following. Like Fed, Like they've never had stuff go missing on FedEx. And probably doesn't help that, you know, store is called scam stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, but uh, 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 they've never had stuff just completely not get delivered like that by FedEx. So they have to do an internal filing thing and all. And that. you said you were uh, uh, the perfect customer. You didn't have any trouble. You didn't. There was no turbulence there. Because uh, uh, it seems like I they had a buy reason. apparently twice on, <laughs> on yeah. Amazon. Because I, if, I if I was a little less charitable, I would think, oh, you know, maybe they're just trying to make a little bit of trouble for you. For for me? Because maybe because may, who buys two two Vesta boards? I mean, I mean, uh, I, I, I two... what? Bryce, okay, what, Bryce, wait, what are you? Yeah, uh, what, speak is, what is plainly, your sir? version of this story? In fact, uh, we go now live <laughs> as the uh, 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 lightning crashes behind Castle Vestaboard and Carl von Vestaboard, the evil magnate of this company, is scheming. Yeah, see, here's what I'll do. <laughs> Edward V. Robinson <laughs> and his greatest <laughs> role. <laughs> and see, what I'll do is I've got I've got him on the hook. I've got him on the hook for two, but I I'm sniffing him out. I think he's trying to steal my Vesta boards and do all sorts of credit card fraud. Uh, so so you just so I'm gonna hold on to him. You know, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna say, hey, FedEx. You know what? No, I think maybe you did deliver that early. And then he can't get a refund on the one if he doesn't like both of them. The dumbest fucking sting in history. Come on. I'm just saying, Vestaboard has been nothing but cool. It sounds like this is an unfortunate FedEx thing. They're having a file of things. Fucking you in the butt, dude. I mean, there's no way. Yeah, I'm. I'm certain it'll get worked out. What can you do for brown yeah well I, I, that's ups which by the way fedex do doesn't have a thing that i could make a poop joke about uh yeah <laughs> when you absent absolutely FedEx lacks. Fan, thank you Anna Lisa. FedEx lacks. yeah when okay. you look at oh, when you I'm look sorry. at the arrow it looks like it's or the e and the x it looks it's, like it's going in your butt yeah yeah there we go Z uh, 10 to 100 Not as good overnight as the other one yeah Ranking the punchline. Uh, no, uh, uh, we have one and two. No. Where will we end up? By the end of the night. I'm David Attenborough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome to Punchline World. <laughs> you can see Brian trying to formulate a punchline no, I, 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 in I, his head. All I can promise is by the, by the end, you'll say, wow. Remember, doesn't make ball holes can only make two noises. <laughs> Explaining the punchline is an automatic disqualification. <laughs> oh, man. I also made a pun on the end. Whatever. <laughs> Bryce, next topic. Who 
did the dicks? Who did the dicks in the bang shabang da dang? Uh, yeah, man, I'm rewatching American Vandal, and it's still very, very good. Like it when is. When did that come out? That was a couple years ago, huh? Tw- 2017, I believe. Uh, 2017, 2018. Yeah, the the events uh, are depicted in 2016. Yeah, <laughs> depicted. Uh, but the um, but but uh, uh, mm-hmm. the show's in 2017, and uh, so it's ve- wild. Yeah, ve- so- very much a parody of the at that point in 2017. Already fucked out true crime genre serial, uh, for which has only gotten even more fucked out in the intervening five years. Josephine was nine years old when this came out. Mm-hmm. She's fifteen now. Okay. Penny was thirteen years old, and now she's nineteen. Uh, they find it fucking hilarious, as does Body as well. Like, uh, I, it, it's it's we are that, entering. That seems like a target demo. Uh, uh, well, yeah, yes, yes, yes. But why? I mean, Josie, I would imagine she's been into more uh, adult kind of comedy and action and stuff for a while. But Pen- uh, Penny, why, why are you surprised spent- that Penny isn't into it? Uh, uh, oh no, she is very much. Oh into no, sorry, it. but why yeah. are you surprised that she well, is into it? Uh, uh, because like she has never been a fan of crass humor and that kind of stuff and and uh, whatever. If you told me <laughs> six years ago that Penny would be cackling at a murder mystery involving a plot point of a hand job and uh, graffiti dicks and bong rips and all that stuff, I, I would never have believed you. Uh, she she immediately turned off to that kind of like stereotypical that kind of crass stuff. teen humor. But but now kind of she stuff. seems to, uh, after a year of creative writing classes, uh, seems to like be into like, okay, these are archetypes they're playing with and stuff. Hey, it's it, it's a good time. There's, there's like a wonderful time, you know, uh, early 20s when you're, Parents seem cool, and it seems like we're entering that golden era. Yeah. Was there a moment, was there one joke where you're like, fucking everything's coming together? Uh, when she laughed at the fucking hand job, like, they they keep uh, hammer, hammering on it. Uh, uh, from, like, from this viewpoint, from the grassy knoll, from over here, nobody could see whether or not this guy was a credible witness. Anyway, uh, American Vandal is very, very good, and people should watch it. That's really all I have. I should have had more. I should write. Uh, I, no, I mean, I think, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think, I think, I think, like, the, the Penny stuff is interesting. Like, like, I don't think that the audience knew that she was not into that kind of humor, and now she's laughing. This is like some real cats you, in the cradle and the silver spoon kind of shit. You know what? If I was gonna guess, I think it's. Uh, turns out, uh, three years of anime will change a girl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think. I think that's a big part of what's going on. Oh shit! Yeah. I really wish I had more anime jokes. I said expectantly looking at Brett. What do you need? Fuck. Were you All not right. Listening? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> and God turned his <laughs> back on him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bryce, what else we got? WPR10. Oh it's my the hashtag god. That's taken over the internet, Brian. Oh my gosh, where were you? On uh, today, 10 years ago, the day that uh, Odokta freestyled a diss track to an inebriated Brian Brushwood about how, because he wanted to buy an Xbox, he was white people rich. Thankfully, we're 10 years later where Brian could tell the super relatable story of buying two Vesta boards when he only <laughs> meant to buy one. Inflation, motherfuckers! <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you have not heard... The eventual song, which I guess would be uh, next week. Let, let's play a little bit here. Just sit on your ass. What? Shop it at Costco, because I can save more. But I really don't care about this money. Oh! Oh! I feel like you just tricked me into telling the Vestaboard story specifically so I would look worse at this moment. No, 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 no. So White People Rich <laughs> has been one of the most enduring memes of any of the versions of our show that we have done. It, it is 10 years old as of, uh, I believe, Sunday. Yep. And uh, uh, the song will be 10 years old 
by this weekend. I don't know if we've ever explained some of the behind the scenes stuff with 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 white people rich. But Things escalated quickly. Uh, basically, uh, uh, I was experiencing a lot of debt at the time, and uh, uh, Odaka... yeah, things in business in general, like they go up, they go down. Sometimes you overcommit to certain things, and bills come due at the same time. It's not that anything is super fucked. It's just a matter of uh, everything kind of getting back to normal, getting a little breathing room. You were in a tight spot. That's right. But you mentioned something in the pre-show that I was not aware of. That maybe you might have had I, a little I, bit of a. Uh, uh, I mean, I mean, you may have been on sale. You may have been on sale, Brian. I may have been closing up with a captain. Let's go back in time, Brian. It's just me and you, the captain. We were sailing along, and the next thing you know, your shithead friends on your dumb podcast start calling you white people rich. And I say, hey! Why don't you call that motherfucker and tell him? <laughs> How about you tell that fucking smart ass? How about you tell him to s- <laughs> suck your dick? <laughs> oh, because you're that's it. I'm doing ventriloquism now, Brian. The captain is into it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I would buy a puppet, but we're broke. <laughs> So things were But t- yeah, so you were you were you were a little you were you were on the captain's ship. You were drinking a little bit that night, which was something that I was I was not aware of. Uh yes, uh, uh that was a discussion afterwards. Um but uh but uh, Owen uh smelled out that I was sensitive about being called rich and immediately dug in and you being a good friend and co-host decided to fucking double down on it and the two of you spent 20 goddamn minutes freestyling shit and thank goodness the story ended there had a bit too much of the captain little bit in debt got mocked by my friends live they made up a funny freestyle rap thank goodness justin the story ended there it didn't Uh, (laughs) because unbeknownst to us There was somebody else that found that entire exchange very, very amusing. Well, and his name was Edward V. Robinson himself, <laughs> Bryce Nash Com Castillo. <laughs> what do you remember of watching White People Rich and what made you want to make a, uh, a now iconic a, a song? A horrible earworm <laughs> that my daughter... God damn it! I was. Wait, 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 yeah, yeah. Let, uh, let him explain. I, I uh, uh, at that time, I had been doing a few songs. I had done a couple of songs already, of taking clips from the show and making a little beat out of it. So it was kind of already just a a part of 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 that energy, and then and then the music video when when I think T, or no Kimchi Fire uh, made this. Uh, a video so so you started. you did the song it, and then like how do you guys even get because that's definitely pre-discord like yeah, like was it right. just in the irc or or how, how do you throw it out to the audience or to the, the rest of the community also and somebody's at, like oh i'll make a video at what point making the song did you realize you were ruining a human's life <laughs> that's <laughs> i i it, it probably would have been some irc but then also it wasn't exactly collaborative. Like I just had it on SoundCloud. So they just downloaded it and went on their own. It wasn't like there's any any back and forth. Like I didn't know there was a video until the following episode. Cause I remember go, showing up to the sh- to that show Tuesday that uh, Tuesday the next Tuesday night. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. I had the song. They did the song. And that was when I found out someone had made the video. I didn't even realize someone had made that. Oh, but, okay. All right. So yeah, and people in, in the chat that would probably know. Curtis LaRock is saying that you guys were in a bunch of group chats and Sunbun's like, yeah, but also Twitter. So you probably just put it out on Twitter. So I, I almost know. certainly retweeted it back at the at the time because I would have found oh. it funny. Oh retweeting it when it ruined your life. This is back before Twitter was nothing but a death trap. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, right, I'm so announcing my candidacy it, for president it, tomorrow it, on Twitter. It, in all seriousness, like when what was your 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 journey on becoming cool with it? Because I know for sure oh, uh, you were you were actively not cool with it the night that it happened. 
to be uh, honest, the very next day. The very next day, I was okay with it. I was like, well, that that happened. And then when Bryce did the song, it it entered the canon of like a P-O-P-E, I Know Where My Money Be, and all yeah. that stuff. Uh, uh, the various other songs that we've made up that so have anything, turned into real things. As long as the joke is good enough that it can make art, it can make memes. Correct. Then it's like, all right, well, this was not for nothing. This was not just bullying this was a thing that has a life oh it was own. bullying but also they yeah. uh, uh it got funnier when or somebody would cause <laughs> Money. Money. <laughs> then uh, the video was funny because somebody found every single time I ever touched money in all of scam school at the time. And I'm like, that's really funny or whatever. Uh, and and what I didn't... Was there remixes of this shit as well? Uh, yeah, I think I think a couple people did. Because I think uh, Carson, I think, made one. I know Identity 4 made one. Um, so it was a... It was a it was a land rush. I, I didn't expect it to be as good of a song as it was. So much so <laughs> that, that once in LA, the <laughs> same Penny who you were just mooning over for uh, uh, sharing some of your same taste in shows when she was a little younger. Tell this story. Uh, well, so when we were shooting Hacking the System, I was out in L.A. There was one weekend where Bonnie came out with Penny, and we all went to the beach or whatever, and we hopped in the car, closed the door, and uh, and uh, we were driving to the beach, and uh, and Penny just starts going, uh, WPR, WPR, I'm not saying the lyrics because they are racist, WPR, <laughs> WPR. Uh, it's a fucking hook. It's an earworm, and it's a jam. And white people rich, white brush wood, brush wood, white people rich, white people rich, Damn, that's like a like. That's a good hook. It is. I'm like I'm like a, I'm like a regular the weekend. You know what? I think everybody should be on the hook to the tune of three dollars an episode by heading on over to Patreon.com/slash/GreatNights. Mm. What happens at Patreon.com/slash/GreatNight? Uh, well, first of all, Bryce has personally guaranteed me that he will make a life-ruining song for every single person who signs up right now. Uh, yeah. uh, however, I don't know how trustworthy he was because he couldn't use the letters B or <laughs> F <laughs> or T. I was lying! <laughs> uh, wait, let's go back for two seconds. And, and, and in the service of patreon.com slash great night. Again, patreon.com slash great night. Get an exclusive episode every single week. You're okay with the song now? Where where are you emotionally on the song now? Like, even when you hear it now, do you still get a twinge of like, oh, this motherfucker? No, 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 no. I, uh, Justin, of all the times to ask me that after I just complained about the fact that I accidentally purchased two Vesta boards, neither of which have been delivered, and I kind of shrugged, it's a good time to ask me whether or not I'm good overly time. concerned about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night is where you want to go. Get your own RSS feed. Make get... Brian even cooler with this joke. No. <laughs> no. With every new patron, he gets actively cooler about white people rich. Patreon.com slash great night. Thank you to all the hardcore Diamond Club community members for whom have made our entire existence. I mean, fuck. Uh, someone made a joke earlier. Uh, in in the pre-show about how this was actually episode 780 of of our entire franchise. Does, does that I go all the way back, back to the BB Live show? Or? Yes. Yes. yes, it That does. goes back wow. to the BB Live show. So 780, eventually we'll get to episode 1000 like uh, the Ice Cream Social Boys did in, in a much shorter are, period of are time. Are they counting the bones as well? Probably not the bones. Yeah. So that means... So we, might, we might be into the 800s yeah. at that point. But uh, still, folks... This is, I mean, I, to be totally honest, the defining show of my life, and I love it. And as we are here on episode 100, let me just say very earnestly, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who has supported it. We would love for you to be on this journey because I think where we're going is going to be even more exciting than where we've come from. You know what? I'm not even going to kneecap you over that one. Uh, uh, raise a toast to everybody, all the beautiful Diamond Club members, Yay! all the chat room, everybody here live in the studio. It's been a wonderful, wonderful journey. Here's to 10, 10 more. 
lifetimes. Ten more lifetimes. <laughs> yes. Oh. Ten more lifetimes. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Uh, hey, Bryce, do you have a game for us? Hey, we do have a game for you guys. In celebration of Great Night 100, we brought back uh, one of our oldest, favoritest don't, games. Don't you do it. Don't you do don't it. Don't you do it, Joe Biden. Don't you do it, Edward <laughs> V. Robinson. <laughs> it's V. <laughs> it's, I said what? Yeah. Yeah. God damn it, Joe Biden. This Alzheimer's the game. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> this is Thank the, you. I pulled it should be G.R.A. <laughs> <laughs> So I've gone through the uh, 100 episodes, uh, 99 episodes of Great Night so far, pulled some quotes. You're going to have to tell me who said it. If you get it right, you get a point. If you get it wrong, we laugh at you. So fun, so easy. <laughs> and we love it. And we, we play together it. on this one, right? Uh, No, you play, no, we play against each other. Yeah, we play against each other. Why not? I mean, that, that that that's yet another way to divide us as a team. So why not? Yeah. <sighs> Is it? Do you not want to get? I mean, we can no, just walk down memory together. lane. Yep. Me and Brian are on the same side, and and just go against whatever we say. You know what? That, that, that'll be the two scores. Let's go against Brett, who probably has never heard any of these, <laughs> but will probably have a good guess. I will win this. Okay. I know he, well, he probably will because he's using random chance. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. We'll do BBJ versus Brett. All right. Well, uh, first line up. Bum, bum, bum. Do you take your shoes off to shit every time? Who said it? Uh, we're going to start with Team BBJ. That, Who said that, it? That does sound like... Uh, ah, fuck. No, it kind of sounds like you. But I don't... It, that does sound like something I would say to you. Yes. Because uh, I don't think I would ever take off my shoes to shit, but that does seem like, like I'm very into shitting etiquette. <laughs> like people who take their so shirts you, off. So you think about shitting etiquette more than I do probably. I, Cause I, I don't think about shitting etiquette at all. And you brought it up as a specific thing I, right I'm now. I'm constantly confused by other people's shitting et etiquette because what's I, the weirdest. <sighs> I mean, the standing wipers. What? Anyway, okay, oh, don't yeah. get. We can't do this again. Oh, yeah. This is. We can. I mean, yeah. Hey, Bryce. They're, do you remember they're, they're which among one of us, us said it? right now. <laughs> no, like I, I think it's like forty percent of the world is standing. Are standing wipers? They're standing and yeah. sitting wipers, and uh, neither and, and, one and, knows that the other exists. Exactly. Yeah. This standing. is SpawnCon for secret invasion. So. I would say if I found out anybody took off their shoes to shit yeah. or that was part of a story because that's the last thing I want to do is put my bare feet on either a public or my own bathroom or whatever. So I am certain. You don't want to put would... your bare feet on your own bathroom? Oh, Christ alive. Have you, have you never come to my house? What do you do to your own bathroom? I shit all over it. <laughs> it's fucking great. You ain't never shit on the floor? <laughs> you never take off your pants and your panties? <laughs> You're fucking assholes like a Roman candle. <laughs> like you're just <laughs> firing <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> okay. I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> Is that where my cigar went? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're agreed on this one. We think Brian said it. Brian said it. <laughs> all right, they're going to say Brian said it. Brett, who do you think said, do you take your shoes off to shit every time? Uh, because I've never heard this before, and now Brian, is, is it between Brian and wait, Justin? Hold on, wait a minute. Be, These are all from Great Night, right? These all only happened during Great so Night. So you, 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 you certainly did hear heard all of them. Oh, welcome to our hell, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> I believe that it was Bryce that said it okay. because Bryce understands Japanese custom. And that is something that would happen in the bathrooms is they have their own shoes for the bathrooms. So you would take off your shoes. Mm. Let's, oh, okay. I, so I say, shitting I shoes. say yeah. we lock these answers in. And I'm not just saying it because Bryce was not one of the available options. Go ahead, lock Bryce. It in. <laughs> okay. All right. We've got your answers here. Team BBJ have said Brian. Brett Weaver said Bryce. Let's play the clip, actually. God damn it. Oh, this is even worse. I feel like my child's well-being and development are being compromised, and I am not take being off hurt. Do, uh, you take now the daycare shoes. staff are expecting an apology, did I go too oh, far here? Do, do you take your shoes off to shit every time? Uh, you know, oh, I never have, but it I was just a Fuck. Fuck. So we both lost. Fuck. 
That's right. We all lost. Why was I squatting during that bit? Probably because you were taking your shoes off. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That does track. Yeah. <laughs> the math checks out. Yeah. We were we were I doing to the... do a boom boom. <laughs> right, okay, I see it. That All was right. from uh, episode uh, uh, eighty three. We were doing a <laughs> "Am I the asshole?" and the story was. <laughs> this is the moment that Brett realizes <laughs> just how awful this bit is. I am, I am <laughs> here. For this. Let's do this. Uh, so we were doing "Am I Rookie. the asshole?" It was about uh, the roommate who buys toilet paper, but she only buys single ply. Oh, yeah. No, that was super fucked up. Oh, yeah, really fucked yeah, up. yeah. You were on the side of the single ply, though, I think, Bri. Anyway, no nah, points on Nobody that. remembers. By the way, you want to know who wins that game? Who? That dude I saw on Man Check. <laughs> <laughs> he was what the was asshole. The All right, yeah. we've got... Uh, Mr. 100. <laughs> Mr. 10 to 100. <laughs> Brett, really, we're going to start with you really, on this one. That's oh, really, really good. It was really good. It was only the fact that you bent over and spread your ass cheeks before you told me the punchline. <laughs> that made me confused to why you were bending over and spreading your ass cheeks. But that, you got to do that for the... Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. There you go. All right, Brett, we're going to start with you on this one. All right. The quote is, Tokyo was a real bust. What a jerk-off <laughs> waste of time that was. <laughs> Who said it? <laughs> this is the best game ever. Tokyo was a real bust. What a jerk off waste of time that was. Who said it? I mean, that wait, feels. Wait, 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 uh, it's Brett. I think it's oh, Brett. Brett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Go, go, go. Uh, I know I didn't say that. Mm. Uh, I'm pretty sure Bryce would never say that. I think it was Justin who said it. Okay, Brett's gonna say it was Justin. Team BBJ, what do you think? Uh, th this. I does use seem... the phrase. Jerk, jerk off, off a lot. <laughs> I say the jerk off as a noun, as an adverb, sure. as a verb. Like there's as there's a, a lot of nominative predicate, a as gerund. a comma, <laughs> as a question mark, subject. Uh, can you pass me the butter? Jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me throw you this curveball. Okay. Off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this does seem like the kind of thing that <laughs> I like that we're just like a Star Trek <laughs> alien race. <laughs> Hello, jerk off. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. jerk He's off. He's calling your mother. <laughs> <laughs> it is our culture to uh, say uh, such I, things. I, uh, uh, greetings for your daughter's bar mitzvah, <laughs> jerk off. <laughs> uh, may you go from ten to one hundred. <laughs> Oh, oh, jerk off to you. <laughs> uh, this does seem like uh, uh, snake oil that Bryce would set us up to lose on. So you think it is not me. I think it might it be me. It would be Brian. Also, I know that, that if we agree with Brett, we'll have the same number of points, and we should probably disagree with him. <sighs> Being dismissive is my shit, though, and this is a dismissive line. Tokyo, this was a real bust. What a jerk off waste of time. <laughs> that was. It does. It sounds. It, it sounds like you. Justin. I, uh, you know what? I, I, I'll, no, back, no, no, I'll back no, no, your no. play. No. I'm back in your play. Okay, because I have no memory of. Okay, all right, all right. Let's go. All right, so you're going to say Brian said this one. Yes. yes. All right, there we go. We got your answers here. Tokyo was a real bust. What a jerk off. <laughs> Something, something. Let's take a listen. This is from episode two. Oh, oh my God. This was a real bust. What a fucking jerk off waste of time this was. Hey! <laughs> the thing people famously said. Hey! Hey! It was Brian. That's a point for Team BBJ. Damn, we had stools. Maybe we should get stools back. Uh, there okay. are five Where are we, stools we on them? stage right now. There are... <laughs> you have... You have had six stools at no, your fingertips for the past two no. years. <laughs> yeah. You know what? We're going to rock stools. I, I Changing it up. I have multiple times worried that I'm using too many stools on set for how I, how we're decorating all of this. So. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're going with stools now. Okay. Well, uh, thank we got, God we finally put this. stools on stage. Brett, Brett is on point. He's already got one point in Team Jerbs. Yep. There we go. All right. Let's go on to our next quote. Why don't we? Uh, let's go. Let's see. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Once we make our guest, we're going to say, show me that brass hole. That's the quote. Brian and Justin, you're the first team up. Once we make our guest, we're going to say, show me that brass hole. Who said it? That which, feels Brian. I was about to say, which one of us made a very similar joke just minutes ago? <laughs> uh, uh, a pun based, butthole based that, 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 that reeks of Brian. Wish I hadn't said that live on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, they're gonna say show me that brass hole. What do you think we were talking about? I, I think we were talking about uh, musicians, and I'll bet we were talking about like a marching band, something or other. And then I would have, I would, I would have sat there on was it that for a band. few minutes. Didn't that band come in here and they, like they, they? That was when we were doing Great Night, right? That was uh, a night. Well, I don't know. Or is that Night Attack? I remember there was the marching band at a live n- night attack, or maybe that was even a late. Oh yeah, no, no, that would have been definitely pre Great Night. Uh, those are our friends who are in the the uh, brass band who, one one of the few times, and and this is why we pledge fealty to them. Also, please remind us who you are. Uh, the uh, <laughs> <clears throat> they they discovered Victoria, us right? through our number one comedy album and then fell into the podcast. Yes. Oh and, yeah. Because they, they, they were driving to another gig. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. And they were just like, yeah. well, let's have some comedy. Here's yeah. the number one comedy album in the uh, world. The Tin Man Brass Band. That's there what it is. Yeah. We there go. we go. There we go. But it wasn't them. But but I I assume we were talking about something brass related, and that that's the kind of dad how many joke things I are brass related? Uh, oh, Buttons, man. rails, uh, uh, fucking chandeliers, holes, uh, fucking uh, red hot pokers. Um, yeah. Show me that brass hole. Guards in front of 1980s fireplaces. Yep. Um. Brian, Brian's our answer. Lock All it right. in. They've said, Brian, Brett, let's go over to you. Once we make our guest, we're going to say, show me that brass hole. Who said it? I have a slight memory of this. Do you now? But Look who's I, showing off. But <laughs> I seem to remember hearing Justin say it oh, because no. we leaned into the brass hole. I, that, I seem to remember that. Mm, so you think it was like a character, like it was like, yeah. like a, a voice affect yes. thing, which would be more that would be more just that'd be yeah, more me. It was yep. repeated many times, yep. and then yeah. we both still Enough forgot to where it. it stuck. Yep. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which shows that uh, I've hammered my shtick so hard <clears throat> it's no longer registering as new memories. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got your answers here. Team BBJ have said Brian. Brett Weaver said Justin. Let's take a look at the clip. We have. Uh, but- Wait, yes. I, I just have a suggestion. Oh, no. Once we make our guess, we're going to say, show me that brass hole. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth was the context for that? Hey! What were we even talking about? That was from episode eight. We were doing the celebrity walk of fame or shame game. And uh, I think that was your idea to spice up if uh, we were guessing if the celebrities did or did not have a star on the Hollywood walk of fame. Uh, and I think those are brass. Yeah. Brass. Hooray, I mean, uh, uh, brass. that's called uh, solid gold, baby, because we fucking got it right. We're not falling for your <laughs> bullshit, Bryce. OK, you want to think that you're going to double fake us out by giving a shit that sounds like Justin, but is ma- is really Brian? <laughs> Now don't sniff. We me. got the yeah, sniff. Baby. Not sniff the right me. time to be sniffing. We got a sniff. <laughs> yeah. We sniff brass holes. No. no. We sniff assholes. Doesn't matter. We got the scent and we're going to chase it down like an old English hound dog. Hey, I, man. I hope not. I'm just kind of stationary here for like the no. next two hours. Look, th- hey, th- give us your next piece of shit question. Yeah, you know why? <laughs> because there are brass and holes, assholes. One- you and I. We're class holes. Class holes. Top class. Top of our class holes. That's what we are. Just keep on saying it and it'll get funny. I hope that you use this in your episode 200, you piece of dog shit. I'll definitely forget that by 200. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it's time for our next one. We're going to start with Team Brett Weaver on this one. Of one. Brett, your quote is bum, bum, bum. You hearing this lippy motherfucker? <laughs> Who said it? You hearing this lippy motherfucker? <laughs> Brett, we're starting with you here. What do you think, Brett? Uh, I think that's Justin again. You're going to say right. Justin. Yeah, and that was, yeah no, no, we just got to Sorry. We just got to We just got to take a knee there. Uh, yeah, sorry. I don't know if anybody else on earth uses the phrase <laughs> lippy, lippy as motherfucker. Much as yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so everyone's going team Justin. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I think lippy motherfucker is is that's a that's in my it's in my quiver. We got a guy like that. In my quiver. <laughs> All right, let's play the clip. Even the right. So prompt. you fucked it up. Uh, oops, sorry about that. Well, Easy. you you really, you really engraved your face on that. <laughs> 
Oh, that's not the right clip. Oh. Oh! You fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. Price fucked up. Price fucked up. Price fucked up. Price fucked up. You snuck your lid when you say that price fucked up. I fucked up. Let's check the actual clip. Edward L. Robinson. Morrison does a lot less. Henry Ford famously found that overtaxing employees meant led to lower productivity. Actually, the basis for the. Eight by five. You hearing this lippy motherfucker? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what is this? That yeah. was from... our brains are dying. <laughs> <laughs> that was Turns a... out your brains only hold so many things, and then they start dying. <laughs> <laughs> our brains the... got full. <laughs> Sometime <laughs> 10 years ago, <laughs> they, they and then they started dying. They were like, oh, at 100%, time to start dying. Uh, put on our tombstones. Thank you. That was enough. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we were... Uh, that was definitely inspired by some Justin shit. Lippy motherfucker. Yeah. Look at that. I might have been thinking of Cowdoy. Yeah, I ain't that, no lippy fuck. But yeah. that would have been uh, uh, early episode four, 2021. Does that yeah. timeline match up? Yeah, yeah, no, I think that, so. yeah that, that's, that's around Big, big Old House, House of Fun. fun yeah. yeah, was that when it came out? Not twenty two. Yeah, I was I still in Oakland when it came lippy out. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, uh, after four rounds, Brett, what is the score? The score is the fellas over there <laughs> have two points, and I. Not yet have more points. Than <laughs> <laughs> well phrased. Well phrased, <laughs> sir. Very politic. Okay, let's go on to our next one. BBJ, we're going to start with you on this one. Ba, ba, ba. The quote is, that's the most adorable racism I have ever heard. Who said it? You want me to flip a coin or you want to flip a coin? <laughs> that's a hard one. All right, you say it and I say it, and we decide who said it most like what we think it was. Annalisa, say literally anything. Neutral as can be. Just, she, just she just said it. no. No? That's the that, most adorable racism I've ever heard. Yeah, that, 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 that felt right when I said it. All right. Uh, I mean, Je they, Jeff, Jeff. Just yell. Yeah. That's the most adorable racism I've ever heard. Yeah, I'm a fan of words like adorable. I like juxtaposing. I don't say adorable a lot, but also you don't say lippy a lot. And uh, and and we just got got on that. Now now we're in the fucking Mikey trap where we're trying to know. figure out the, the 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 contours of the question, and that always fucks you. I, I no longer trust. You're on myself. a map to nowhere, and the X is is is. In your own asshole. Rice, did I call you a lippy motherfucker? I'm so sorry. You apologize right after that clip, too. Don't okay, worry. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, thought he was the right to apologize. It was a little much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to trust you on this Fucking one. This one's accurate. all you. <laughs> all right, Justin, what's the answer? I'm going to go counterintuitive and say me. All right, Justin is going to say... Justin said it. Brett, the quote. I, I am also more comfortable making jokes about race and racism than Brian are. Right. Mm. All right, Brett. The quote is, that's the most adorable racism I have ever heard. Who said it? Uh, as many times as Brian has called me adorable, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go counter to Justin. Mm. Saying, I think it was Brian that did it. Mm. If it if it was if I did it, <laughs> if I did it, <laughs> then it's a uh, new book. I'm almost certain it was about something Asian. That seems like the something I would say. Uh, that's the most adorable racism I've ever heard. Didn't know this could get worse, <laughs> and yet here we are. <laughs> I just I'm just throwing it out there. All right, we got, if you did it, if I did it, if you did it. Well, let's find out if you did. If I was racist. All right, let's hear the clip. Big and I'm muscly and I'm Sylvester Stallone and, and I've edited something this. Like this and it goes <laughs> no <laughs> the chicken dance Did you do the chicken dance were you trying to do an Asian that thing is, and it was the chicken that dance is wrong. how dare you 
<laughs> no. Dick. Okay. Re- That's the most adorable <laughs> racism I ever <laughs> heard. I'm, we were I'm not right gonna be able to counts. beat that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> It was just a... <laughs> yeah, bitch. This game is better than I remember it being. <laughs> this is really good. That was about the Italian Sylvester Stallone character. The and it t- both sounded... As opposed to the actual Sylvester Stallone character. Yeah. I didn't write it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of like Black Herman Kane. Yeah. Black Herman Kane. Yeah. yeah. It's me, Black Herman Kane. Kane. <laughs> All right, that's a point. I'm a relic of how long you've been doing the show. <laughs> oh, it really is. All right, that's a point for Team BBJ. I'm dead. Oh, I died of COVID. I died after going to a Trump rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's me, the <laughs> Black Hyman Kane. <laughs> this, don't, 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 don't you do it. Don't you do it, Herman Kane. No, I will. <laughs> oh, no, don't. I'm wait. still doing it. <sighs> <sighs> All right. Uh, Brett, we're gonna start with you on this one here. Sure. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Did, did we get a point or no? Yeah, yeah. you got. The yeah, point. we won. Yeah. Uh, you have three hundred uh, points. Three, three points. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh do you need, <laughs> okay. you get? Team BBJ. I, I want all those zeros to be banned. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Brett, we're starting with you on this one. The quote: "Dragon to dragon, can one of us be Bernie Sanders?" <laughs> <laughs> That's Justin. You're going to say, Justin, why do you believe That's it's Justin, Justin. Robert? Yeah. I think I know the bit, but I don't know who said it. Why do you think it's Justin, Brett? Uh, the, the dragon to dragon bit. And, uh, you know, I know how much Justin likes Bernie Sanders. Love him. He's a big Bernie bro. All right. Big Bernie, but man. Bernie Maybe Sanders would be a weird pull for me to do. So I think. But I am a fan I, of the blank to blank intro. I, I think this was. The D and D campaign. Wow, a lot of Penny in this episode. Oh, I think it was the D and D campaign that Penny was doing, and Bernie Z- Sanders would be an appropriate age-related, funny enough. But and I think it was you talking to Penny saying, <sighs> "Dragon to dragon, which one of us is Bernie Sanders?" Oh my god! Yeah, can, can we get like one bonus point if, if I can he gets all the details? Actually, remember correct? it. Like everyone owes me. Five dollars, and my hand will be out, and I'll okay. close my eyes. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that side action. <laughs> sure. Yeah. You want to? You want to lower that hand real quick? <laughs> nope. Okay. I'm uh, waiting for all my five dollars. <laughs> that everyone, really not regret. just here, not just here. <laughs> just I'll wait. Should I'll wait for everybody oh, make man. their way. <laughs> well, let's check out the clip uh, uh, before we. Before we line up. No, I'm the good dragon. I know. And you're trying to lead me down a bad path. And I'm not going to do dragon things <laughs> you're anymore. Re- we're, we're, bad both, dragon? We're, both the, we're both dragons. And I know that you're dealing <laughs> balloon heroin. So you better All knock right. it off. We, we, we can't talk Mom, about that. Mom I'm, is mom's very worried right, about listen, you. Dragon to dragon. Oh, God. Yeah. Can one of us be Bernie Sanders? <laughs> it was Brian. <laughs> I, for one, think <laughs> things were about to heat up. But then he's doing the dragon. And then he does the dragon. That's a <laughs> Team BBJ poll. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no bonus, though. Brazilian no bonus. blowjob. <laughs> I, you know what? Yes, that's, that's it. Yes, that is that way is. better than any of the other things it could be. Bramble Bush Jury. Yep. Somehow worse than Brazilian blowjob. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Bartholomew B. Nope. Job. BBJing. <laughs> yeah, BBJ. All right. BBJing. Uh, those are the only letters. Oh, all righty. <laughs> That's the only ones. Uh, all right. Uh, here's a quote for you. Let's start with Team BBJ on this one. Bah, bah, bah. The quote is, what the fuck am I doing with my life that the cum boy is running up and startling the country singer? <laughs> I mean, really, that one could be anyone, now that I think about it. (laughs) This is the name of my prog rock album. (laughs) We're starting with Team Brian and Justin on this What the fuck am I doing with my life that the gum boy is running up and startling the country singer? (laughs) Part one. Part one? (laughs) (sighs) Uh, Brian, where's your headspace at on this one? Um, 
<laughs> I'm I'm in a, a safe space far away from here. Uh, the I, 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 that that does feel like um mm, that feels like a Justin thing. Feels like a me thing. Yeah. The come boy is kind of come the, boy is not that one of my go to phrases. Yeah, yeah. That, I I feel like that is. But but you might have set up come boy as a character, and I might have been doing a callback. I had to imagine that it was a Jomo episode. Yes. And so who would the come boy be? <laughs> old 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 Edward V. Robinson. <laughs> Ejaculation. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'll go with Justin on this one. Okay, yeah. they're gonna say Justin. Brett, what do you think? I uh, I hate to admit this, but I also agree that it was Justin. Just the way he said the line uh, uh, was very natural. It was very natural. Yeah, very natural. Ah, okay. A little bit of a little bit of a Cum field lumbo. test. Yes. <laughs> Combo. 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 Right. Combo. Okay, we got your answers here. Team BBJ said Justin, so did Brett. Let's take a look at the clip. Yes. His guitar. Yeah. Uh, stopping his song, saying, Bryce, am I dead? <laughs> and I realized then for the first time that in the font of the game Doom, Doom. Bryce's shirt just says Com. C U M. At which point, uh, I believe this happened. Wait, at which point, I'm after. Like, I got a degree in journalism. <laughs> like, what the fuck am I doing with my life that the cum boy is running up and startling yeah. the country? Yeah. Well, on top of that, like, there he goes, a Justin. That's a point for everybody. I like seeing all of our haircuts. Yeah, yeah. it has it, changed over the years, huh? We go through some different looks. Yeah, some we got, we weights. got, yeah, we got, we got <laughs> some different uh, measures. Yeah, we got different, different looks in our lookbook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes I show my knees. Sometimes you show yours. Sometimes I got my knees out. These, these, knees. these thighs, baby. You're Powerful. really, you're really taking advantage of that stool. It really. Yeah, look at that. The right? games. I know. Like a fucking Clydesdale up here. Look at this <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just clomping through the Anheuser Busch protests. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. We'll sponsor who we want. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All right. Too political. Let's <laughs> move it along. That's fine. All right. Team BBJ, we're going to start with you on this one. Bah, bah, bah. The quote is The nipple can be freed and is. <laughs> The nipple that, can be freed and is. That sounds like a Justin bit to me. <laughs> but we've already had some that that I feel like kind of sound. I don't know. That yeah. one sounds more more Brian that we were talking about free the nipple, and and that is a Brian restate and an exclamation point like the nipple can be freed and is. Uh. In that, uh, if if it, if I did it, <laughs> yeah, uh, then then it would be hopefully a callback and not just a button. It's sure. a button. Yeah, yeah. Button Let's go. Let's go, Brian. LFG. They're gonna say it's Brian. All right, Brett. Who do you think said the nipple can be freed I and is? I need to remember this. I thought it had something more to do with uh, the rules of uh, Twitch being on the air and making sure. That the nerps weren't showing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it was Brian that had said. Mm. Oh, my God. I just realized the only logical way to end this whole bit is for them to play back something that, that maybe we said this very show. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I don't like it, Brian. <laughs> I, I am with you. I but, okay. don't right. like it. So, so I say it's. Uh, we, the both we, sides have said Brian yeah. here on this one. The quote: "The nipple can be freed and is." Let's take a look at the clip. So, one of the things you need to know about Austin in general, and specifically Barton Springs, is it's top optional. It is. Optional. It is top optional at Barton Springs. The I, nipple I, can be freed. Yes. And is. And oh, many times. Justin is, is the winner on that one. No one gets the point. No I was wrong. You were no hair on that one. No hair. That was right after you shaved your head. You remember yep. that? You remember shaving your head? I, get I do. Yeah. We did a whole video about it. I remember that. Yeah. That's why we remember it. It was about a year ago, too. Yeah. A little over a year ago. Yep. That's right. It was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Is, is your mom keeping the hair short? No. Oh, okay. No. It's all grown back. She should continue to shave it just to... Because she looks She has to grow her hair out now because she got that tattoo. 
right on her scalp. For real? Yeah, I said, don't fuck with me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like, that's kind of fucking weird, mom. And she's like, like, I don't know, but bitches sorry, keep I'm fucking sorry. with me. So <laughs> sounds like you're fucking with me, Justin. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, you wouldn't be fucking with and me, then would she you? Just pointed at the sign <laughs> by tapping her own forehead. Don't make me shave. Don't make yeah. me shave, Justin. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. All right, uh, it's time for our final round. Brett, very quickly, what is the score going into the final round? The score, which I'm going to win, even though it shows otherwise, uh-huh. <laughs> is that uh, the boys up there have five points, mm. and I broke the seal, and I only have one point. There you go. Brett, Better business breaker. jizz. <laughs> BBJ. Yeah. BBJ, okay. Yeah, yep. no, that's good. Yeah. yeah. I asked biscuits. Biscuit. Jack. Jack. Uh, Jack, thank you. God, I wish I knew more J words. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's time for a final round here. This one's for 18 points. Oh! Yay! oh! That's anybody's game. Oh, hope- it's the one thing that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Team BBJ, because you're in the lead, you are going to go first defending your title or your, your win here. Yeah. The quote is, bum, bum, bum. I'll withdraw my ejaculation. <laughs> God. Oh, you know what? Ooh. I think that was like last week. Because I think I screamed something and I, I called it an ejaculation because screaming something is an ejaculation. And then you said, I withdraw with my, my ejaculation. ejaculation. Yes. I think and I said something wrong. you remembered that and it was last week. And this is the kind of sneaky snake bullshit no. that fucking Bryce tries to pull. I can he- tell you. This was not last week. Two, two. This, he lies to us and says <laughs> that it wasn't last week because he's do, trying do, to do, throw do us think- off and he fucking wants to embarrass us and humiliate us on our own show. This is an entire fucking old boy style long con just to humiliate us. So it was last week with? and it was you. Yes. Trust your instincts. I'm with you 100% till the wheels fall off. You go low, I go high. Bah! Bah! I, so what are we picking? Go! <laughs> okay, yes. Let's fucking go! <laughs> All right, they're going to say Brian Brett. The quote is, I'll withdraw my ejaculation. Who said it? So before I give my answer, yeah, Bryce, Yeah. we cool? Are we cool? Yeah, yeah we're cool. Okay, we, we got this, right? Right? Yeah, so cool yep. to see you. Yep. <laughs> Guys, are you sure that's the answer you want to get? Oh. See, I feel like before I, feel I like... give my answer, are you absolutely sure that that's the answer you want to give? I mean, now that um... this is the game theory we've needed, this is the element that we've been missing. One hundred episodes. They're, they're no, trying no, no, I mean, being an, they an adversary. Are trying to rattle us. Is, they you, don't want you, us hey, to win. No, wait, hold on. They uh, don't believe in Bryce us, Brian. Cool. They don't believe I'm in not, us. I'm not cool. They don't them. believe in us. God did. <laughs> Which uh, uh, they don't want us to win, so we gotta win. It was Brian. Okay, I, I, I have faith. They. I have faith one in guy. you. I have faith in you. Look at that. Brian's right. pointing at me, okay. audio listeners. Brett, okay. they have said it was Brian. Who is... Another one. Who are you going to say <laughs> said the quote? I'm going to say it was obviously Justin. God, I swear. I, I really think it is me. And if I'm wrong, then no. we deserve I'm the with L. it. Let's hold hands. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> All right, we've Let's got go. your answers here. Let's go. Brett we're like, we're Justin. like, we're like coach and skater at the Olympics. Amazing Justin and Brian have night, said Brian. How great the time that me mm-hmm. and Justin won. Mm-hmm. Brett mm-hmm. and Bryce were mm-hmm. fucking with the mm-hmm. heads, mm-hmm. and then we won. Let's go. They held hands the whole time. It was so cute. <laughs> Let's go. It was so adorable. Let's go. Let's play the clock. Anyone else remember then? No's. no's. We're getting three no's in the back here. Well, nope. then it must not have happened, in which case I'll withdraw my ejaculation. Yay! <laughs> Brian! 
Our brains are made of organ Swiss cheese. <laughs> ba, 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 da, da, ba, da, da, da. Ba! <laughs> and you were right, it was two weeks ago. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Where is your Brett now? <laughs> With 23 <laughs> points, I think, Team BBJ. Oh, my oh, God. No! Nobody saw that coming. If you have an idea for a game, an email, a, com a comment, message, question, any sort of very nice thing, send it to our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this program. Thank you. Oh, and Critical Racing Theory and Marbles. Check them out. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, Brett, did we yes. learn anything this week? Uh, yes, I do. First oh, of all, it is very easy to go from 10 to 1. <laughs> true. That's true. Two. All, all, all you need is two hands and the will. Yep. <laughs> but make sure you say the thing and then turn. Don't do it before. Yeah. Uh, two, the captain just might be Logan Roy. I'm Girl thinking team. the more I listen to it. Murray, fuck off, fuck off. And what I really learned is bullying is okay when it's done for a really good cause. <laughs> Namely, money. Yep, that's a good point. Good. Yep. Uh, hot damn, guys. I, I can't believe we hit 100 of the latest data uh, the, the fourth doctor has emerged yep. and reached the age of 100. I couldn't be happier. Uh, it's been a great night, man. Shine on. You crazy diamonds for another hundred and many more. You know how you go from a hundred to a thousand? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Both of us. Let's go to 10,000 right now. Oh, shit, Brett's here. 100,000. <laughs> That's inflation. Thing. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>